Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in for another video on how to make Power BI dashboards for Team Sports. Today we're going to be going through how to make a player image show on your player reports. So what we're going to be using is the image by CloudScope visualization of Power BI that's going to enable us to select a different player and make that image change according to the player that we have selected. So this is useful not only for people that are working with Team Sports, but anyone that is looking to include an, a dynamic visualization of an image that's going to change according to the data that you have already set up in your Power BI. So what we'll need today is first uh, your data dump, which is the same as all my previous videos that you have seen. It's just your full data dump with all your player data from GPS. And as you can see, in case I don't have to state the obvious, this is not actual real data. I'm just going to use these players, which are the top players in the world right now. I'm just going to use them as an example to import their pictures into my Power BI dashboard. So you're going to need first your, uh, your data dump uh, Excel file, and you're also going to need another Excel file that you're going to create. That's going to be simply going to have your player names on one column and the image URL on the other column. Two very important things here. The first is that the player name that you have in your player images uh, Excel file has to be exactly the same as the player uh, name that you have on your on your player database. So if your player is Lionel Messi, make sure that it says Lionel Messi written exactly the same way and you don't say Lionel Messi in one database and just put Messi on the other one. It has to be exactly the same. And on your second column, you're going to have your, your image URL. In order to get your image URL, all you have to do is go onto your uh, on your club's website or, uh, or whatever it is that you have your pictures. So the way that this works, it works with uh, with an image URL from from a website. So it doesn't work with an image that you have saved on your on your uh, laptop or, or iPad or anything. It has to be from a URL from a website. So if I go to my player profile picture and I go right click, I have to copy image address. And I'm going to paste that link into my Excel database. So this is the second uh, Excel file sheet that we're going to import into our Power BI. So right now in this Power BI, I already have my, my player, uh, player reports that I've already explained in my previous video. So now we're going to import a second database. We'll simply go to Get Data, select the Excel database, that we have just edited right now with our with the player images. And load that onto the Power BI. Perfect. So you can see that now that you have uh, two two data databases on your fields column of your Power BI. You have the data dump, which is all the data that is currently put, and then you have your other table, which is the data from your player names and the image URLs. The next thing we have to do now is to go to model uh, the model tool of Power BI. The model tool of Power BI serves when we want to make a relationship between two different variables that come from two separate sources of data. So what we want to do today is to create a relationship between the player name of my data dump and the player name from my other table. So as you remember, we, we've just created the, the player names that have to be exactly the same on both on both databases, and this is the reason. It's because we're going to create a relationship between the player name that I have on my data dump and the player name on my other database. So just if you select that, that variable of the player name, and you're going to drag it across, and you're going to put it over the player column of my other table. You can either drag that across, or you can also go to Manage Relationships and just uh, select it directly from, from the data relationship. So if you just say either new, or if in this case I'm just going to edit the one I have here, all you have to do is browse and look for the, the two metrics that you want to, to create a relationship with, and you just have to select them here. So that's the other option. And we still have to come back to this uh, edit relationship table because we want to make sure that, our, that we select under cross filter direction, we put both. Okay, this is really important. So make sure you come to edit your relationship, cross filter direction, and select both. 
and just go to OK. This is going to uh, be the final touch in, all, in order to create that relationship between both variables. And that's going to make a lot of sense now that we go back to our table. So what I want to do is that when I import the image visualization, I want, because what I have here is actually my player display name for my data dump, I want to be to able to create that relationship and also show me the player image from my other database. So next, the image visualization tool is not by default on the Power BI visualization charts, so we have to download it by hitting on the three-point icon of Power BI, get more visuals. So if you go to get more visuals, and we're going to search for our uh, image visualization. So the one that I recommend and that I think is the easiest one to use is Image by CloudScope. Image by CloudScope is a certified uh, Power BI visualization. It's really good, very simple to use, and it's the, it's the one I recommend. So you just look for Image by CloudScope and select Add. That custom visual is going to come up right below the rest of the visualization. So if you, we just go and select Image by CloudScope and put it on our Power BI dashboard. In here, now all we have to do is to select our image URL and the image title and drag that across. Uh, the image URL obviously goes under image URL and our player column is going to go under image title. So that's, that's the, all you have to do. Now, when I go ahead and select a different player, it's going to change the picture that I have here because of the relationship I have established in my model. So as easy as it is, you can even see now that the picture changes and also your data changes from, from your database, that from your GPS data, it's going to change as well when you select the player. And that's it for today. If you liked the video and you found it useful, make sure you like and recommend it to someone else. And feel free to drop a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks.